The Sidebar Podcast presents a new adventure to enjoy. Join our heroes as they travel through the cosmos, completing bounties and expanding the gate map, never knowing what is going to confront them at any turn. Where will they find themselves marooned this week on Space Quest? We'll jump back into it. So, um, Gopher uh, and Duran, you guys are currently being led into this room, um, flanked by Anders and Victoro. A door opens, and you guys see, sitting next to, like, sitting on a chair in the center of this, like, unfurnished room, just like this bright neon light. Casting down, you see your old pal Brandy, chained, with his face all red and puffy. We have a friend uh, for you. Doesn't Brandy. look like uh, doesn't look like much of a hospital. How are they treating you, Brandy? You see, like his eyes are closed. But then he slowly rolls forward. <clears throat> and then he's got a very red face. He's got like bloodshot eyes. He's got cuts all across his face. His He's still got like that that little grin underneath all of the blood. And uh, he's got this thick bushy beard that kind of goes all out in all directions with patches of gray this brown hair and he sits just wearing like his pair like his jumps jumper from uh from Europa and he tilts his head down spits on the ground a little bit of blood it's about as comfortable as Europa comes and he looks up at you gopher and you can see the face of your old friend I'm just uh, <clears throat> gonna look him dead in the eyes for a second. Kind of give him a wink and be like, I think you need to get the fuck off this moon. And I turn and swing to knock out this, uh, this boss Ooh, guy. Ooh, okay. Give me. Let's, Let's yeah. Oh, say, I was, the I was balls say on that, this guy. I'm, I'm glad that Gopher was going that way. <laughs> Duran was 100% about to do that. <laughs> we'll say, uh, so uh, while you guys were talking, Stopping instead, <laughs> you guys are doing all this too. Uh, Gopher, roll me another constitution saving throw. We'll see if uh, we'll see if you were able to recover after. <laughs> yeah, yeah, why roll your actual no. dice? Yeah. All right. Well, dice unfortunately, you're, you're still poisoned. But uh, yeah. but yeah, let's uh, let's. I'll say I'll say you have like the first action. This is this is a surprise. So yeah. I'll say you're first in the like okay. thing. But everybody like we'll get everybody to roll and shift. I guess minus the the folks yeah. that are not there. So I am. Uh, Hawks just at... gets to listen to the fight. I am at. Uh, he heard. He heard something. <laughs> <clears throat> I am at disadvantage, right? Because of poison. Attack rolls right? and ability or... checks. Yes. Yeah, ability. Yeah. So. so. All right, we'll swing at him anyway. Let's see, an eighteen and a ten. The first was an eighteen. For some reason, the dice in here bump each other. So ten is the lower. Just use um, the dice, man. <laughs> I know. I should. Uh. <laughs> So 16 to hit. 16 to hit? Okay. Uh, that will hit. Roll some damage. All right. And uh, that's going to be... Uh, 14... Uh, sorry, 12. 12. Okay. Yeah. He just, uh, like, you know, kind of takes this Bam. piece of gear off his back and just two-handed slams him okay. yeah. blocks for 12. all right 12 <clears throat> points of damage damn all right um so uh 
What was... if you'll allow me a bonus action, he'll go into overdrive. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'll say He's over. Gonna rage. I right. should have done that first. <laughs> technically, I, I want to. Technically, I do that first, but uh, it doesn't matter for the attack. I don't think. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, you get to add rage damage if you do rage first, right? Sir, yeah, I don't. I don't. Is that, a, that is, is that a thing? Yeah, I uh, thought so. Really played a <laughs> barbarian for a very long time. I would trust him. What? Yeah, you can add yeah. rage damage up. If you're raging, you yeah. can add damage to your attacks. It's like plus two to it's your plus attack. Plus two or at this level, I believe it becomes plus three later on. Yeah. Speak to her, yeah. Unless you're, unless you're some sort of shitty... I don't know. I'm a wild magic barbarian. You, I, uh, it, that's that's the base barbarian. I was the path of berserker, so it could... Resistance. Uh, oh, when you make a melee weapon attack using strength, you gain a bonus to the damage roll that increases as you gain blah, blah, blah. Okay. I see. <clears throat> sure. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know how much damage that it is. Uh, another two. Oh, plus, plus, plus two. So, it goes up to the damage. Said that. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm, just, I'm learning, guys. Yeah, yeah. That's so much yeah. Played a barbarian for three years. Uh, okay. <laughs> the the important thing with my overdrive is that uh, I get to roll a d8 to see uh, what the hell happens okay. with the uh, the magical sort of the wild surge. Uh, so a six is going to be um, until my rage ends. Uh, so so like this the suit powers up and you see like multicolored lights surround me. Yeah. And uh, I have a plus one bonus to AC. And while within 10 feet of me, allies get the same thing because my Ooh. thing is just distracting full of disco nice. lights. <laughs> All <laughs> right. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> so, just Darude so Sandstorm I, playing. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, I don't think we want to. Drain. All right. So, um, <clears throat> so as, as Gopher clocks. Anders in the face. Um, well, here I'll the rest of the initiative. So um, I can roll mine. If you Anders, can. yeah, I'll put it in the uh, I guess text chat. Jeremy, you're keeping track of it, right? You're not doing anything else. Oh, right someone said my name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ah, yeah. I, I too am still my, here. My initiative is uh, ten. Mm. My initiative is eighteen. Uh, okay. Um, so as, uh, so as, uh, as you guys as this all starts kicking off, um, I actually have a little uh, virtual tabletop. The man, the man knew that we were going to fight uh, this guy. He knew something was going to happen. So here, I'll uh, I'll paste it in. Um, how do we want to do this? Does somebody want to? Does somebody want oh. to sh share or like you guys can all join this? But for the video, what if you, maybe somebody what if you should... sign in with the. Who has the SideQuest RP uh, Discord? Uh, I do, like, yeah. Share the screen from it on your phone? I don't know. I mean, I can share my screen, yeah. All right. So if you guys want, there's... I didn't have a thing for you, a token for you, but I did have a token for Duran mm. created there. So, we'll say, um, Aaron, you're sharing your screen. Uh, nope. I do you want me to. You want me to share my phone screen? Uh, oh, you're on your phone. No, I'm on. <laughs> the thing is, it. I, I don't want it to mess up the recording if I. Oh, okay. Does somebody else want to share then? Well, what are we sharing? So we have the map on the video. Yeah, yeah, the Albert Rodeo. Can I just, if you share and I open it up, it'll be like if you start the stream, I could view it and then it'll, it'll be, be like, yeah. yeah, yeah, Evan's got it. All right. So feel free to drag a token on for, uh, for yourself here. I'm just getting, uh, yeah. Let me see. Do they have like the, 
they have the default tokens. I'm just going to yeah. use that. Yeah, yeah. Um, so there are a couple of guys in here already. Yeah, so now uh, the video is the map up top and then all of our faces are at the bottom. Yeah, you might want to knock knock all that off before this day. So who's who here? <clears throat> so, um, so you're you're the the shield guy. All right. So we'll say uh, you're over here next to Anders, and then flanking him is uh, is Duran. Here I'll give you. And then um, and then we have. Victoro, who's the uh, bearded dude. And then there's a couple of guys in here at the back as well. So in this little section, we have Brandy kind of chained to this chair currently. And as this... Duran, you did say that uh, your... Oh shit, I just deleted mine. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, no worries here, I gotta go back. You did say that you you had your open comms, so if you wanted to, as this was happening, if you wanted to call for your companions, <clears throat> I I I'm not actively calling for them. <clears throat> I'm just gonna say, like, I'm just hoping. I just hope that Ox has been listening to what's been happening thus far, and uh, all I do is I turn the comm on and I just say the floor and the location. Okay. All right. So, as this is breaking off, you guys are in this little uh, little room with nothing but a chair in front of you. Gopher just swings and cr cracks Anders in the face with uh, with one of his wrenches, and the fight is on, gentlemen. Um, I believe I go next. Ah, yes. Let me check. Also, uh, real yeah. funny second second Duran. You will go next, <laughs> followed by Anders. All right. I think the so, battle music I stopped am... for me, by the way. I don't know if it's still going the battle this music. Stop for me. I, I, yeah, I, you're oh. switching it. Give him a second, for God's sake. Give me a oh! second, guys. Can't stop, won't stop. All right. So, Duran, what would you like to do? I wish to uh, hit him with a uh, flurry of blows. Ah, oh, a flurry. Nice. Of blows. So, um, I'm, first I'm going to do my unarmed strike. Boom. And then okay. I'll do my uh, my next two. Do you want me just to do them all? Like, yeah. Do the first one and then do the next two? Sure, yeah. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Does a 16 hit? A 16? It does, yes. yes. Do you want me to just do the next one and we'll add it up after that? Yep. Alright. Does a 16 hit? Yes. How about a, uh, a 19? 19? That'll also hit. <laughs> okay. Alright, now I just have to do the... Uh, the do difference. the math. That is 15 points of damage. Big bang, boom. Okay, 15 points that of damage. Just so we're clear, that, that was a that was a punch, a headbutt, and a kick. Nice. It's just like a. <laughs> yeah, as a, uh, as you crack into Anders. Who's uh who's up after him? Anders. Anders. Okay. All right. Uh. <clears throat> I guess this is how we're gonna play it. He uh, he crouches down on the ground, and he pulls out a uh, a laser pistol, a little blaster from under his coat, and then he spins, tumbles, five, ten, and as he does this, uh, it seems like he's moving fast enough that you can't get an opportunity attack against him. Cheesy, but I'll allow it. Five. 
30. He's too quick. <laughs> he is too quick. Almost as if he has a disengage. Like and then disengaged. <laughs> he, he lines up the shot and he fires at you, Gopher. Uh, four. That'll be a 24 to hit. Oh, that misses. Uh-huh. <laughs> Got him. That's fun. And as uh, as that does, uh, you you take uh, you take um, seven points of piercing damage, and Duran does a seventeen hit you. It does. As the bullet hits, it ping ricochets off one of the the back of the uh, the wall, and it lodges into you. You also take um, seven points of damage, piercing damage. Yar. All right, who's up next? I think it's Victoro. All right, Victoro. <sighs> This could have been easy. And he, uh, he grabs, he grabs you, Duran. Um, he's going to attempt to, uh, with his robotic arm, does a, uh, 25. I'm assuming that hits. Believe it or not, it does. does. And as he does, uh, you take, so you take five points of damage but he just yanks, yanks you, grabs you right in your chest, and pulls you in. And then hits you with a little kidney shot. Um, does a 7 or 18 hit? It does, yes. 18, all right. And then you take, uh, you take another 10 points of bludgeoning damage as he just feeds you one in the side. And he's gonna, and he's gonna stand basically with you in the doorway, like holding you. All right, that ends his turn, and then the other three guys are gonna go. The uh, Anders, you know the drill. Uh, this guy is gonna move five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. One of them can get in range. 10, 15, One of them's gonna just smack you in the, uh, because you're grappled, he has advantage on this, uh, this attack. Does a... Hmm. Fuck, uh... Does a 14 hit? You have plus 14. Oh, you have okay. plus one AC because of oh. my flashing lights. So 15. you're 10, you're, no, you're 10 feet from so me. That doesn't right. hit. As this one guy yeah. just comes in, comes into the back, and he tries to, uh, he like pulls out like this sort of spanner, and he tries to like slash you, but uh, does not hit unfortunately. And the other two are just gonna stand there, <gasps> gr- grunting. All right, who's up after? Uh, it, did uh, Gopher have a surprise round last time? Yeah. Okay, so then Gopher. So, uh, are they, like, blocking the doorway? Can I not get... Yeah, them? Victoro and Duran. Like, Victoro's holding Duran in okay. front. Are we are we in, like, an enclosed cell here? Yeah. Yeah, you guys so, are. Like, there's, not, there's not an exit from this. No. Um, so... I guess I'm just gonna <clears throat> move up and uh, try to shove uh, Victoro out of the way. Okay. See if I can push him. All right. So, uh, opposed athletics check. Yeah. Um, with advantage because rage, disadvantage because poison. Is that right? Yeah. So it'll so, just be a straight yeah. roll. Okay. Uh, so that is a 24. 24. 
Uh, you got a 20, but you you beat him. So you push him over. Shove him out of the way. Are you pushing him Yeah, I'm just shoving back? him like back to here if I can. Okay. So I can get through. Duran also him. gets dragged. Because he's still hold, grappling him. But yeah, you can yeah, get through but... at this point. Does that matter? Because grapple just makes Duran's movement speed zero, right? Does he he's... stick to Victorio somehow? Hmm. Because he doesn't have like an action to drag him right that's true, but it's forced movement, so... Okay. I don't know. I'd say, like, if he, if he pushes, if you push him, Duran's coming with him, because he hasn't escaped the grapple, technically. Uh, Jiggle, I, I have a question. Sorry. Yes. I just, I'm realizing something, you know, learning a new character here. Yeah, no worries. Um, when I land a blow on Anders, I know this is a little bit after, with one of my flurry of blows, um, he had to do a dex check, and uh, there was a, a couple different things that could have happened we could, you know, we could look over this this time, but I'm just saying. Yeah, we'll say, yeah, yeah. It, it, like, let, let me know for, for the next round. Yeah. If, yeah, once you hit him with flurry blows. Sure. Yeah. Right. Um, okay, so I pushed him. Uh, yeah. Now, for, like, potions, is it, you do bonus action yeah. or flex? You can do a bonus potion. action. Okay. I'm going to bonus action. I'm going to uh, activate my compound. Ooh. Um, that I picked up, the anabolic compound that we picked up last time. Yeah. So uh, that changes my strength to 21 for an hour. And uh, that's my turn. Okay. Uh, all right. Who's up after? Brandy. Brandy. Okay. Um... Brandy is going to attempt to get out of these chains, um, and he does. He he just gets up, grabs the chair. He's got like he's basically like cuffed against it. Grabs the chair, jumps up, and just smashes like lands with the chair on his back, and then he gets up. <sighs> Just like the old days, eh, Gopher? All right. He's, uh, and then he's going to move over here. Who's up after? He goes back to the top, so it should be, uh, Duran. Duran, you're up. Okay, um, so I'm going to have to use my whole turn here to just, uh, get out of this, I guess. You... So your f speed is zero. You can still punch him and hit him. You just can't move. Oh, I mean, if I'm if I'm in a position to do so, I'll just do a flurry of blows, I guess. I don't yeah. have much of So you, are you going to hit Victoro? Oh, yeah. It seems to be the, uh, the likely person I'd like to hit in this situation. Okay. So first one is a 17. 17. That'll hit. Second one is a 13. That will miss. And the last one is a 22. 22, that'll hit. Okay, um, so I'll do the attack damage for both of those. It's 11. And also, <clears throat> also, mm. in this uh, situation, Whenever one of my hits with one of my Flurry of Blows, which my third one did, I can impose one of the following effects. Um, so I guess I have to decide in this moment. I'd like uh, I'd like him to do a dex saving throw, please. Dex save? All right. Yeah. He's... That's a big fat eight, my man. Well, uh, if he fails it, he's to fall prone. Ooh, okay. Does that automatically yeah. happen when you hit Billy, or does does he, do you have to spend a key point? Whenever for that? you you I, it's part of my uh, it's my open hand technique. Oh, nice. My, my key point. That's sweet. Yeah. Nice. The big question is, what happens to me here? What happens to you? You're standing. He's just wrapped around your legs. <laughs> he still got you. Unfortunately, the way it works is uh, he's still got the grapple on you. But he is prone. How do I add the ring on him, Ev? Yeah. 
Go to attachments. Attachments. Where is that? I'll just let Evan do it. Yeah, let me see. Yeah, if he can do it. uh, They have a prone one. All right, cool. Uh, Who's up after him? Jer? Um, Uh, It's Anders. Okay. And we'll say, so at this point, you guys know, like, at least Ox, you know that there's a battle going on currently. You hear grunt, a lot of grunting and shouting and fighting over in the, the comps. floor and room we were in. <laughs> yeah. yeah, in the floor and, and the, floor room. And the room. Yeah, so we'll say um, it'll take you guys another round, like this round, and then um, actually, who are you? What are you guys doing? Like at this moment, we'll say. I would probably tell Doc. I mean, Inquisitor is off on the other ship, so I don't yeah. know. I but I'd like. Um, I tell Doc like, oh, like shit's going down. Then I flick on my communicator to uh, to Inquisitor, and I'd be like, either steal that ship or get back on ours because we're taking off. And uh, the plan is going to be to take off and go to the the floor, um, in the room that they told us shit. with the spaceship. With the ship, <laughs> gotta go, rap. Right? All right, that's fucking sick. All right. Do the do the Weasleys outside the window? Yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> Uh, dude, right, have the rope around the it. bars and I'm all about it. All right, okay. Love it. Uh, so Anders is gonna he's gonna wipe his face. Victoro, I believe you should have this handled. If not for me, do it for Sheila. And he runs 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And he just gets the fuck out of there. Okay, so Anders is the big bad. We know this now. All right. So I'm sure we'll see him again. Who knows? Uh, Does he say this is the last you'll see me? <laughs> <laughs> you have not followed my plans for the last time. Yeah. Inconceivable. All right. Uh, who's up after Anders? Um, <clears throat> I just had it up. Uh, it's Victoro. All right, Victoro. He is going to use half his movement to get up. <clears throat> Smart guy, eh? All right, he's gonna. No. <laughs> he's gonna try to hit. Crack you. Uh, does a fifteen is your class, right? Fifteen is my class, right? Now. All right. Uh, you take another ten points of bludgeoning damage. I I I fall unconscious. Okay. But. Man. Oh. But, shit. But. Uh, I'm sorry. Just one moment. I use. Are what? Are we? Are one of my hands free? Would you describe one of my hands as being? Free? Yeah. You're not. You're not completely like held. I I, <laughs> I use my hand to pull my blaster out of my pocket and shoot him in the face. <laughs> as I'm as I'm going down, my blaster is just a uh, just like a crossbow. It's just flavored, but okay. It's like I just it's like a <laughs> situation. Any reaction like attack him? It is if I am reduced damage to zero and I have a free hand, I can spend my last remaining key point in the situation oh. to make a ranged attack <laughs> with my ranged weapon. Okay. So, All right. I'll allow it. In this situation, I'll say it like it's it's at disadvantage, but I'll say for the flavor of it, fuck it. You're, you're point blank. You're up. He's he's got you grappled, so there's like really no way you can miss. He's also right. prone, so it's double disadvantage, which makes it advantage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's how that we works, come full right? circle on that, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, amazing how we just worked around all this. Um, Give him yeah. advantage because it's fucking badass. Yeah. And I look at him, and I just and go. <laughs> and like... Okay, so that deals uh, that deals eight damage to eight him. damage. Sorry, it, was, it was a twenty-four to hit. Just so okay, yeah, yeah, that'll hit for sure. Eight damage. <clears throat> All right. Eight yeah. damage. All right. You you pew him as you fall unconscious. All right. Who's up after? It'll be the lackeys, and then go for. Oh yeah, after Victoria, yeah. 
uh, the lackeys, one of them's gonna try to hit you, Gopher. They don't. They don't go for Durin's unconscious body. Yeah, yeah all three and of them. them. <laughs> they can take him out now. All three of them. <laughs> one of them can yeah. play to get rid of. Them. Yeah. <laughs> one of them can't really get at you, but the other one's just gonna like try to try to throw something at you. Okay. Go for. Um, does a twenty-three or twenty-one hit? Sorry. Yeah. Assuming that'll hit. Is this uh, guy standing in the wall? No, no, he's he's standing like next to the uh, next space. He he's basically like right over here. He's yeah, I got. He's it. there, but he's just throwing something at you. He's throwing like yeah. something that he just found, like a glass beaker. You take one point of damage. Perfect. Ugh. All right, who's up after? Over. All right, I am now very strong. Um, so I'm just gonna, um, I, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna pick up Duran. Okay. His unconscious body. And, uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna look in Victoro's eyes and shake my head and just be like, don't be one of them. Oh. And uh, I'm gonna try to uh, pick up Duran and, mad. and take him as far as I can. So okay, uh, for the ship shoots a hole in the wall. <laughs> All right, I think that'll make me go half speed, right? Yeah, yeah. So he's gonna come with me, and uh, but he is. Um, are you dashing or are you? I disengaging? guess. Uh, would Could... picking up him up not be an action? No, I'll or... say I'll say that that'll okay. just be like yeah. Part in of that me. case, in that case, I'm just gonna uh, I'm I'm just kind of taking him to here, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and um, as I go by, I'll 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 punch uh, punch this, one of these this, guys. This, this goblin man or whatever okay. he is. Um, so maintain my rage because uh, I am mad. Nice. So, uh, that's probably disadvantage still, right? Uh, so, 16 to hit. That'll hit. Okay, and then that's going to be uh, 7 plus uh, 4 plus 2. Um, oh, yeah. He, Technically, he, 17. He's, so, uh, he's right fucking out. <laughs> okay. You smack Perfect. you as yeah. you walk, like as you pick. I'm not, going for, I'm not yeah. like trying to kill him. I'm just trying to knock oh, him. No, no, yeah. yeah, but yeah, like as you as you scoop down, as you're running past, you're just holding Upper your fist right, 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 right to the chin. Yeah, pick up, pick up Duran, and I just yell back, and I'm like, uh, "All right, Randy, let's get you out of here." <laughs> Hoping that he can follow. Okay. All right, who's up after? Uh, I think it's Randy. Randy? All right. He's gonna five, ten. <clears throat> he spits in Victoro's direction. You're one of us. And he gives a gives him a little uh, haymaker for old times' sake. One. Yeah, for old times' sake. Uh. That'll be a 16 he'll hit. Uh, he does uh, six points of damage as Victoro takes takes one right in the chin. And you can see like blood just pooling in his beard. <laughs> It's not so easy! How? Alright. He just, like, kicked him in the face as he went by. Yeah. Alright, uh... So, uh, is this the end of the round? Yeah. Alright, uh, so... You guys, Baron and, um... Ox, are you guys getting on the ship, then? I'm just following the Ox. Okay. 
And Inquisitor, are you staying on the... Because you're on the other ship right now. Are you staying on that ship, or are you... Moving. <laughs> Inquisitor goes on a completely different campaign from this point <laughs> on. Checking in on the Inquisitor. Right. I know uh, a while back uh, Ox said like steal the ship. Like how feasible is that? <laughs> like when I'm inside and I look around like You're so you're inside the storage, like the back essentially like the cargo section of the ship. So you'd have to like move across the ship, like through to the control. Oh, is it a big ship? It's not that big, but it's like it's like imagine a space semi. So like you're in the back, so y there is like a door that leads into the control panel. I uh, uh, like, can I, open, can I just, can I disguise myself as the foreman and open the door? Uh, you disguise. I guess I'll disguise self. Yeah, I guess I'll cast the sky self as the foreman and then open the door to the front. Okay. Like control room. Give me a. Deception check for me. A 23. 23? Okay. Yeah. As you get on, you you like just throw the crate on, disguise yourself as the foreman, and you can see there's a there's a person sitting in the uh in the cockpit. Like it's it's a very small cockpit. Like there's there's four seats in total. Like two of them are just like passenger seats. One of them, there's actually a person sitting there and a pilot. Who like seems to be a pilot? He's Wait. wearing the same jumpsuit, oh, okay. and he looks at you. I'll load it up. That's right, buddy. Let's go. We we gotta get around. Uh, we gotta fly up to uh, uh, make a special delivery. Um, those uh, those guns are well hidden under the uh, the vegetables, so I don't think they suspected anything. All right. Well, Why don't you let me? Wait, wait, let me starts preparing for liftoff. Can I think of the control? Would I know how to drive this? Possibly. We'll come back to it. We'll say that's your action. Like you basically got into the cockpit. All right. Sick. All right. Uh, so, back to the top of the round, Duran. You're currently unconscious. Roll a death save for me. You're muted, Bailey, if you're... <laughs> it's a 13. Ooh, a success! Very nice. All right. We'll say at the end of this round, if you guys... If, uh, like, Ox and Baron will have made their way up with the ship. Okay. So. All right. Who's up after? I guess Anders isn't... Honors is still running, so that'll be his turn. Who's after? Oh, yeah. Hold you... oh, up. Uh, Has to be reminded every round. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Honors is still running, so it's Victoro and then okay. the Lackeys. <laughs> You don't know who you're messing with. Boss man. He's not a nice guy. Just do what he says. And he grabs... And he grabs Brandy. And he shoves him onto the ground. That'll be... Guys, too. Ooh. As, he, as you can see, like, his one arm reaches out. Brandy just grabs it and turns and throws it past him. Bitch, I, you were slippery as hell back in the day, too. He comes back up and just smacks him. Um, and the old <laughs> bitch slap. <laughs> <laughs> Misses, too, with the, with the robotic arm. You can see it's hissing as it's moving, but he misses Brandy. And that'll be... Uh, he's going to run up towards uh he's gonna get up so he's no longer prone uh and then he's gonna move towards you go for randy's gonna get attack of opportunity soon 
misses. <clears throat> I'm going to uh, brace. Okay. So I have uh, martial adept, which is uh, feet from variant human, and uh, my maneuver. One of my mar- like battle master maneuvers that I get from it is called brace. Yeah. When a creature you see moves into your, the reach you have with melee weapon you're wielding, you can use your reaction to expend one superiority die and wait to make one attack against the creature using that weapon. The attack hits as a superiority die to the weapon's damage roll. Damn! All right, give me a give me a. <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna miss. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Damn! Well, it was a good. It was a good chance. It was, a, it was an opportunity. Yeah. All right, that's going to end Victoro's turn. This guy is no more. Um, this guy is going to come up. They're going to both come up to you, and they're going to both try to smack you. Um, yeah. That'll be a six to hit. Ooh, and a 23. Or 21, hit. sorry. Yeah. Uh, you take one point of uh, piercing damage as like one of them stabs you with the back of a, like with a broken bottle, basically okay. in the side, and that'll be their turn. Although it's halved though because you're raging, right? Yeah, but isn't that still is that still like minimum of one damage? Or yeah, I think it, it goes zero? to a minimum of one. I feel like it's probably minimum. Yeah, of it one. goes. Yeah. All right. So, I'll take it. All right. I do love how uh, Anders was like, you know the drill, boys. And then they just start picking up random shit and chucking it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Where are their weapons? Like, we well, didn't the, the train drill, for the this. Drill is, yeah. <laughs> the drill is improvised weapons. With yeah. in the yeah. uh, so after... Uh, it was the Lackey's one, right? So yeah. Then it's it's uh, Gopher. Gopher. Yeah. All right. I'm going to... Uh, I'm like looking around, surrounded by all these guys. Be like, Duran, fucking help us! And I'm gonna um, stab him with a needle of some sort, which is uh, Duran. Uh, Duran dealt a beast about a damage before he died, <laughs> so <laughs> probably probably uh, use uses my full action, I suppose, to uh, give him a uh, healing amp ampool. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, Duran, you regain eight hit points. Eight hit points. Nice. Big. That will be my action. So, that's it. Uh, I guess I could try to move, but they're just no. It's fine. All right. I'll say you can prop. You can I'll, prop. I'll, uh, I'll, yeah, I'll put them up here. Yeah, you can prop them up and just push them over. All right. Yeah. All right, who's up after? Uh, Brandy. All right. Brandy is going to go try to smack the guy. That's flanking. Ooh, a one and a three. He tries to hit the guy behind you, like, that's flanking you, Gopher, and just tries to grab him and pull him yeah. down, but the guy doesn't. Doesn't really okay. do, doesn't remove. Okay. All right. <clears throat> and is that the bottom of the order uh yeah okay so we'll say ox and baron you guys are in the ship the ship's engines have fired up what are you guys doing we're taking it up to the we're just gonna like go up to the floor and the like i don't know the floor that they told us we don't exactly know where the room is but we're gonna go to the floor and just like look in through the windows Okay. Until so we're just like we'll just go up like an elevator, I guess. Mm-hmm. I don't know what peeling out looks like in a spaceship, but we definitely do it. Oh yeah, there's skid marks <laughs> at the dock. Skid marks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys scrape the bottom. No, there was like a, there was like some electronic connectors and stuff like that, and like the gas line, and we just we go straight up. Yeah. And they, they like rip out and everything. Just the gas hose is just hanging <laughs> behind the ship. Yeah. Like. <laughs> That's millions of spacesos. <laughs> All right, so you guys peel out of there. With Inquisitor nowhere to be seen, but you guys are. Oh, well, no, we, we waited. The, basically, what we did was we're like, radioed him, either steal the spaceship or get on ours. 
We went to the back yeah. door. We like waited ten seconds, looking out. He never came <laughs> out. So we, we just peeled out. All right. So you guys peel out and start circling around. Inquisitor, you're in the ship, and this guy's just looking at you. What are we waiting for? I say follow the, follow those guys. They they're leading us to a, a important drop for our next uh, orders from the boss. All right. Whatever you say. <laughs> He opens. He turns. Like, I get paid to do my job. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he turns on the ship, and he starts like. Can, start. I, can I like record? Can I like mentally log or electronically log in my brain, um, like what buttons he's pressing and how he's turning it on and operating it? Sure. So I know. I mean, yeah, you you can see like the steps that he takes. Um, Presumably, like, you have some sort of experience. Like, you know, you don't know how this ship operates, but you know how ships in general operate, even though you're not a pilot or anything. So okay. It's like how I know a car operates in real life. Exactly, yeah. You can, you, can, you can probably figure it out. It's not that difficult. Okay, okay. All right. Um, but yeah, you guys, the ships start peeling out. Well, your ship is just casually sauntering up. And then you see, like, a figure just waving from... <laughs> As you guys are pulling out, you see a figure dressed in this exosuit. I tell him, I tell him to, like, rotate the ship so he doesn't... <laughs> rotate! <laughs> he starts rotating. <laughs> okay. He starts rotating, and as it turns, like, the figure just looks at you throws the clipboard down and starts jumping up and down on it. <laughs> Oh, what, can I shoot him? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, in the oh, shoot, shoot the random yeah. guy at the question. airport. I have like, a, I have a, doesn't Eldritch Bass have like a sh freaking long range? Yeah, but like, you're I'm in the cockpit. Do. Like, there's no, there's no. Like, oh, there's no window? Yeah, there's okay, no window because it's, it, you're still in outer space. You're not in. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So Inquisitor is chaotic evil, right? He's got this. Yeah, he's got this idea. I'm gonna fucking shoot this guy. <laughs> but then he thinks uh, it, it won't logically make sense. Right. Yeah. He wants to, but he, he wants to. Yeah. <laughs> he bites his tongue. All right. Uh, top of the order. Top of the initiative. It is Duran. Duran <laughs> like awakens and he has his he still has his gun in his hand. So he just like he looks over and he sees uh Victoria on the ground and he just he fucking shoots him again. Like he just like yes. doesn't miss a beat. He's just like right. he's like right. his his training from growing up is just like wake up and just immediately you see the threat's still there. All right. So like at any point if he gets revived in a spaceship after a battle, everybody just <laughs> like, Everybody be cool. Yeah. Use yeah. a pole. Yeah. All right. That is a 19 to hit. That'll hit. Okay. Okay, okay. How far away is he from me? He's, we'll Sorry. say, like, he's he's adjacent, or he's not adjacent to you, but he's, like, 10 feet away. I'd say oh, seven and a half. Yeah. yeah. All right. Ooh, maximum I could have done. All right, that is 11 damage. 11 damage. Damn. He is looking very rough. And then I, uh, as a bonus action, I yell, fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Very diplomatic. <laughs> yeah. He's diplomatic to a point. Yeah. And right. he went over this. Do you remember the spiel? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, do you want to move anywhere, or is that... Stay there. I, uh, I'll start backing up to the door with my, uh, with my gun out, just like... Okay. Gun out in my um, hand behind um, me, ready um, to like touch like okay. the the door pad to open it. Like okay, <clears throat> you you can see like the door like it's closed when and Anders ran away. Like it has a red indicator stating that you're like pretty much locked in here. I I will not worry about that when I get there. <laughs> yeah. All right. If I know how science fiction works, I should be able just to. Shoot this lot. <laughs> hey, <laughs> we'll find out. Yeah. All right. Uh, who's up after? Uh, Anders has gone left. Yeah. Victoro. Victoro. Boys, boys. 
this is not the way. And he grabs you. He's going to try to grab you. Um, okay. That's going to be a 24 to hit. He's grappling? Yeah, well, no, it, it's part of his gra- attack. <clears throat> he grapples. So okay. you take uh, four points of bludgeoning damage, and you're... Yep. Yeah, halved, but he he like grabs you basically, and then and, he uh, just I don't I don't get to roll against that. No, it's it's part of the attack. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, and then he uh, he gets a knee in there and tries to jab you. Uh, does a nineteen hit as well? Yeah, I'm assuming yeah. that'll deal. Eight points of uh, bludgeoning damage as he gets another knee in there. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, first, you don't know what he has on me. I don't. I don't want to do this, but give me no choice. You punch harder than you used to. Bits down on the ground. All right, that'll be his turn, and then the uh, lackeys are going to go. One of them's going to go for Brandy. Does not hit. One of them's going to go for you. The one in the back. Um, does a 14 hit. Still going for me? Yeah. Uh, misses because of the lights. Okay, yeah. He, he goes to sla- like smack you with a wrench. And you're just blinded by the uh, lights on your suit. All right. I'm glad I bought armor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Brandy's going to go. Um, he's got like basically these makeshift uh, nunchucks with the handcuffs and the uh, the chair legs. And you try to. It's an improvised weapon. At the yeah. Uh, hit the guy behind him. Deals. Deals. Seven points of damage as you hear a clunk as the guy you look behind, like beside you, and this guy just, his eyes roll back and he just falls, slumps on the ground. Nice. All right. So, that'll be at the end like after this round the ship is has like kind of peeled out and you guys are basically looking for your uh friends are you guys looking like around the spire base like circling it uh we'll probably just pick whatever like side has the biggest windows and then we'll just kind of go up like in like to the or wait you're saying we're at the floor where that we need to be at yeah Oh, yeah, you guys are at the floor. Then we'll just There's, go around yeah. until we can like see them through a window. Okay. Give me an investigation check for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, something I'm good at. Hey. Oh, that one. <laughs> uh, all right. Jer. <laughs> Doc. <laughs> no, <laughs> what do you got? Do you you roll an investigation? Are you looking? Or... Nope. All right. Nice. I don't know what he <laughs> says. <laughs> All right. the The pilot just looks at you, Inquisitor. We got we got a deadline to meet. What are we doing? Just sitting here. Maybe have that guy roll for investigation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <He's in there. laughs> uh, like, the, can I look at him? Like, does he seem like a normal civilian or? Yeah, very much so. He's just a driver. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay, I, I look at him and I say, <clears throat> listen, I don't do this often, but I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm not your foreman. And then I want to, like, reveal my disguise. <laughs> and I go back and, like, I, uh, like, disguise myself as Inquisitor, but with the uh, overcoat and the hat. Yeah. And I pull, I pull the hat up and I say, listen. I've slaughtered your foreman, and I could do the same to you. Unless you'd like to uh, come under under my employment instead. And then I hold out my knife to uh, to like 
towards him. Give me an intimidation check. With advantage. Yeah. That was really good. I, you know what? I'll, I'll give him advantage. I'll follow uh, Really? Okay. Well, it, it, it's it's basically Bailey saying that he's giving you inspiration. Oh, okay. I'm inspired by that motion. You playing it? Out of the five characters, two of them are, two of them scare the hell out of me. <laughs> <laughs> you can guess who you are. <laughs> uh, I got a twenty. Twenty? Okay. In total. Yeah. He looks at you. Fuck this. He pulls up the bubble from his exosuit. Hits a button and he ejects from the top. <laughs> Yo, when it opens, I want to shoot at him. All right, we'll deal with that after. <laughs> okay, fine. Come right. on, bitch. All right. <laughs> did, uh, did the stream end? Pause. No, that, I think oh, Evan. No, it's, it's, it's uh, Evan. Evan. Evan ejected. Oh, sorry, yeah. I, um, Evan also I, ejected. My internet just is shitting the bed all the time. Oh, no. All right. That's good. All right, all good, go. all good. We're back. Uh, Duran, you're back up for the initiative. Duran, uh, Duran shoots at Victoria again. He <laughs> he hates. He is tenacious, <laughs> especially if somebody has brought him onto the door of death. He's like, all right. Give me give me an attack roll. Does a eighteen hit? That will hit indeed. Sharing the screen now. Evan. Oh, oh, it was Evan just trying to make everything really confusing for me. So, alrighty. Uh, I mean, that one didn't fend as well. That was a, that's a four. Four. That's still gonna do it. As you shoot, explain how this uh, how this bullet pierces Victoria. It is it is a blue laser that comes out of my gun because a blue laser. I really got a thing for for blue. Nice. And uh, it just comes out, and it just like it goes like right into his eye, and then like you can see it like go into the optics, and then it comes like it shoots back out of his eye and hits the wall, and he just like collapses. He collapses on the ground. His eyes still smoking. All right, Victoria's and then down. After that, Dran dusts himself off and just like. Whew. All right, perfect. Who's up? To, uh, who's up after? I guess the minion. Yeah. Well, he's uh, currently outnumbered, but he's gonna try his best. Yeesh! Rolls a nat stop, one. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> he, he goes to swing at you, Gopher. Can you explain how you redirect this blow? Yeah, I think <clears throat> this guy swings at me, and. Um, I'm just like still I have a headache and I'm angry and the flashing lights are actually making it worse so I'm kind of like you know just sort of dizzy got my fists up and I just like kind of stumble to the side as he swings and causing him to miss and uh yeah he, he misses as he, as he just like swings he put all his body weight into this it's as he, unintentional drunken master. Yeah, you know? as he turns, and like some of the blood on the ground is pooled so much that he slips on it, loses full control, and just flops face down onto the ground. And we'll say we'll say we'll we'll get out of initiative as this guy's like kind of just he's not he's got the wind knocked out of him, and then you're up next. <laughs> yeah, I think. Um... You know, the, these guys are all knocked out. Yeah. Yeah. What's Vic, what's Victoro's situation? He is knocked out. He is knocked out. Yeah. Cool. Can I pick up Victoro's unconscious body? Sure. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take him with us. Okay. He's got some explaining to do, and he all used right. to be my friend, so. He's taken you. All right. He's he, you're taking him with you. And as at this point, we'll say uh, Ox and Baron, you guys managed to see uh, managed to see like a couple of like lights flashing. And you imagine this is probably the one as you as uh, Duran 
<clears throat> Duran, um, Brandy, and Gopher, you guys see the ship, the familiar sight of the uh, the Sky Disco Skylar, as her high beams just shine into this. Uh, I'm gonna assume that we can't we can't see for sure like what it is, but um, <clears throat> I can use my. I can talk to you on the communicator as well. No, it's off. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. And I use my my gambling skills, and I'm gonna I'm gonna look over at Doc and be like, I bet this is the right one. And uh, as I step on it, so we're like looking at the window. I'm gonna floor it, so we do like a 180, like into reverse. Um, and I'm going to look over at Doc and uh, quote a line from my favorite movie of all time. I'm just gonna ask, uh, Hey Doc, do you like apples? And then I'm gonna floor it and just ram the window with the back of the ship, so like busting a hole. And Damn. then uh, as we like go through and like everything's shaken up and the, the ship is like basically falling apart, I'll look yeah. back at I'll look back at Doc and be like, How do you like them apples? <laughs> hey. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> Doc doesn't really you know, doesn't seem like the type of guy that consumes a lot of media. <laughs> Yeah. Both of you guys hear us crash there. Yeah, as the ship crashes, a big crack forms, and then you guys see a spider web across the uh, the room that Randy was being held in, and then this vacuum just I, forms and stuff just gets started to get sucked in. I, I do up the uh the bottom part of my uh like my exosuit. Suit thing. Yeah. I just like, <laughs> like All right. As as the guys as the whole ship, like, people start getting dragged towards the back of the ship. Um, Inquisitor, you're, you're currently in the, Wait, in, the, yeah. in the helm of I wanna, this. I, w I want to summon Lucina to get yeah. her to take control. <laughs> okay. And then uh, I tell her, uh, Lucina, make sure you run that person over who just ejected from this ship and i'm gonna climb out of the hatch that he ejected from and start taking pot shots at, at him and say <laughs> it, go go towards uh the skylar but if you can run over okay that fool give, give me uh give me a dexterity check for from lucina and then uh you can give me an attack roll uh what's the dexterity check for unseen servant uh does it have stats do let me look if it doesn't, then just use your dexterity. Uh, I don't know. If... Yeah, it doesn't have. Okay. Oh. oh, wait, wait. It has AC 10, one hit point strength of two. That's the only stats it has. Huh. I'll say just use your dexterity. Okay. Okay. Lucene is an extension of you. Let's go. Uh, okay, well, I got 11. Okay. For a deck for Lucina. 11 total? Yeah. All right. She slowly maneuvers the ship. Not an expert pilot. And then give me an attack roll. Okay, right, let's go. <laughs> oh, it was almost on 20. Almost. It was almost on 20. And then it rolled down to 8 uh, for 14 total. That, that'll that hit. Dude, this guy's... This okay, guy's good. <laughs> Roll for damage. <laughs> Wait, let's go. Uh, oh, damage is a different dice. Five. Five? Yeah. You take aim with your finger guns, just whoosh, whip them out. Gotcha. And you see, I, I, I bring him up to the cross earth, which is just my job. <laughs> yeah, bring him up to the crosshairs and then just fire as this bolt of energy just flies towards him. And then his body get, like gets hit by the impact and then just goes limp. And you see as it turns over, like there's just blood pooled in his suit. And then the ship just runs him over. Wait, wait, can, him. can I grab him for because the Baron wanted a body, right? Uh, no, no, I want to run him over. I want to run him over. Okay. All right. So stick, just stick to your gut. Runs him over as he just <laughs> hits the side of the side of the uh, ship. 
or er, side of the space station. As the rest of you guys basically pile in to the Disco Skylark, the back hull is like the the uh, the trunk, if you will, is open. Gopher, Duran, Brandy, and the body of Victoro all make it onto the ship. As the crew gathers themselves for a moment and then starts speeding away as you guys see uh, as you guys hear sirens and l flashing lights go all throughout the uh, throughout the station. <clears throat> and we'll uh, we'll end the session there. Wubba wubba. Thanks for listening to Space Quest Episode 2 Part 2. Stay tuned for more action.